Hello Tomorrow is a new series on Apple TV Plus coming to us February 17th with three new episodes. Hanifa, Hank, and Duchesne, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Nice to see you. Ever since the Jetsons, I've been obsessed with how the future is going to be and, you know, what we can expect. You know, is this kind of what you imagine the near future uh, to be with Hello Tomorrow? Well, I think that's a little bit difficult because we are in the past as well. Like we're hitting the 50s while we're doing the future stuff. So while doing the show, I felt it more in the past than I did in the future, even with our uh, janky robots and, <laughs> and all of that kind of stuff. You know what I'm realizing as what? we're sitting here talking about this? This is the vision of the future that we were always promised. Where's the jetpacks and the hover cars and the yeah, robots yeah. that we never got? And I think that was purposeful by the writers. I'm just realizing this. Like, mm. that's the, like we were promised something that we didn't get, mm. which is a big theme of this show. Yes. Because you see the self-driving cars and Amazon just came out with their robo-taxi. So it's like, this is actually happening right now. Are they coming? I don't trust those things. There's, I, I'm like getting there's right. a Domino's pizza delivery thing that goes by itself. You no longer yeah. need a driver for that. Yeah. Did you know that? Actually, the show opens with a car like that. Yes. yes. And the thing yep. happens the that we won't yes. reveal. Yes, but yes, yes, yes. yes, that's part of it. So it's pizza. happening right now for sure. But the yeah. show has a really retro feel. It does, awesome. yeah. even though it's the future. <laughs> Hank, let's talk a little bit about the character uh, of Eddie, because obviously you have a lot of fans from your animated work and selling a character a through that way. A lot. So many. Too many to count. <laughs> Too many to count. <laughs> talk about, about the, the character of Eddie and, and kind of selling this this dream with, uh, with him. Eddie's a gambling addict, you know, really out of the 50s. He's an old fashioned, you know, the sports, just he's a gambling nut. And um, it's it, it's interesting to see that uh, that is also part of the American dream. You know, I'm going to hit it big. I'm going to I'm going to make place the right bet or series of bets, and that's going to be I'm going I'm going to be on easy street. And uh, so he plays out that kind of dark underbelly vision of uh, how we think how we can make it make make our way here, and very passionately, you know. And I relate to a lot of how Eddie is kind of off the rails. <laughs> Dushay, tell us a little bit about the character of Herb. Herb is an extremely positive person. He's selfless in the sense that majority of his motivations, if not 98%, um, are tied to, you know, adding value to someone else or someone else's life. Mm. And so, um, I really enjoyed playing that because there's certain aspects of myself this way. Like my mother's a very like, uh, she's, she's similar in this way. She's like um, very nurturing and she sacrifices a lot to make other people's lives better if she can. So I think I kind of just loved um, playing this person that, you know, really cares about what he's doing and he's enthusiastic and like, but then there's more to him. Um, and then the audiences could, you know, discover that as the show goes on. Oh, exactly. We're going to get the first three episodes and then we'll, we'll have to watch it week after week. Uh, Hanifa, tell me a little bit about Shirley and the dynamic between Shirley and, uh, and Eddie. Oh, sure. So Shirley Stedman is a very capable, savvy, smart accounts manager. Uh, but really, she runs the whole operation in her head. Um, and the relationship between her and Eddie is a hot and wild and dysfunctional relationship uh, with a lot of love and a lot of caring. Um, but will that last? Is that enough? And for Shirley right now, it is absolutely enough. It is taking her from her life at home with her husband into a whole new world of excitement. More well, than that she is crazy. For. Yeah, more than I bargained for. More th <laughs> for sure, for sure. But willing to clean up the mess. There you go. There you go. Uh, let's talk about Billy Crudup uh, plays Jack, uh, inspiring so many people, living that dream. I mean, obviously, we have whether it's a, a salesman, a religious leader, a, a neighbor, a friend, someone who gets you into a pyramid scheme that someone tells you something and it just sells it and you believe every word that they say. Uh, talk a little bit about, about that character and that, that inspiration. Billy, uh, it's really personal, Billy, this role. He, he saw a lot of his actual father in this character, who was a salesman, sold all kinds of crazy things. 
and was very similar to Jack. And I think you can really feel that uh, personal connection and passion in his performance. I, I really think he's, I mean, we're all good in the show. Oh, he's incredible. I think in Billy um, yeah. is, this is a really unique character and he's pretty extraordinary in this role. Mm -hmm. Right from and the then, jump, right from the jump. I was like, wow, this is insane. And, and then really quickly before we go, just a yes or no answer from, from everybody. If someone told you this afternoon, we're sending you to the moon to go ahead and live, who's gonna say yes, who's gonna say no? <laughs> no. 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 I'll, I'm out of here. I'll, I'll go. He's gone. <laughs> there you go. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much uh, for your time today. February 17th. Hello tomorrow. Premiering on Apple TV+. Plus.